What's going on, Coyote Pack? Right now we're in Costa Rica filming episodes at a location called Kids Saving the Rainforest. And today I'm at an animal that I absolutely must introduce you to. Get ready to meet the most adorable animal in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, say hello to B-Rad. This creature is just unbelievably adorable. That's a hat. Oh, goodness. Selfie with the sloth. Hi. Now, B-Rad is a baby three-toed sloth. Yeah, wanna give me a high three? High three. There you go. Now, what's really interesting about these creatures is they're called three-toed sloths, but actually the front feet are the fingers. Now, they use these three claws to help them climb around in the treetops. This is an arboreal species. He looks like a little yeti. That's a hat. You probably have never seen a cowboy hat before. He's like, hmm, maybe I should climb up here, but I don't think we're gonna let you go up there, little buddy. Why don't you stay down here on your stuffed sloth? Is that a sloth teddy bear? Yeah, this is a stuffed sloth a plush sloth, and a real sloth. I love the gray and whitish coloration of the fur and that very distinct raccoon-looking mask on the face. And you know what I love about the hair of a sloth? It all kind of grows from the sides backwards, and that's so that when they're hanging upside down from tree limbs, if it rains, the water runs right off of them. You see that? It's like all grows up towards the spine instead of the spine down. Now, B-Rad is smaller than most baby sloths, and the staff here at the sanctuary believes that he may have been malnourished when he was out there in the wild, and it could be part of the reason that he fell out of a tree. Fortunately, he was brought here to the sanctuary, and they're going to provide him with all the nourishment that he needs so he can grow bigger and stronger and eventually be released back out into the wild. Now, baby sloths make a really interesting noise, and B-Rad's not making it, but they do go, I'm talking to you. I can speak sloth. Yeah. That right there is a Cecropia leaf. Let's see if B-Rat is hungry. Oh, he's going for it. Oh, goodness. Do you see that? I don't know what's cuter. The baby sloth itself, or the baby sloth eating a leaf? Now, sloths have a very specific diet. As you can imagine, being up in the treetop canopy, they are consuming leaves, mainly leaves. These are Cecropia leaves right here. And the sloth has a very slow digestive system. All of that plant matter builds up in their digestive tract. And every seven days, they climb down from the treetops to the forest floor, find a nice little spot, dig a hole with their tail. Yeah, the tail, this little tiny nubbin, kind of looks like a shovel. They dig a hole, they do their business, and then as long as a predator doesn't catch and eat it, the sloth climbs back up its tree, goes about its business eating leaves, and waits another seven days before it makes its next number two. B-Rad, is it almost time for you to go number two? He's like, don't bug me, I'm eating my salad. B-Rad, I'm gonna just Save that for later. You know what, I think I could spend my entire afternoon hanging out with a sloth. Just you and me, B-Rad. We could go on little walks together. I bet you'd fit in my pocket. I don't think they want me to put you in my pocket, but you would look really cute in my front shirt pocket. You like that, you like that idea? I think he's signing to me right now. He's saying, man, I'd love to hang out. You could come on adventures. You can meet the crew. You can meet Mario. You could meet Mark. We could all be buddies. What do you think? Now, here at the sanctuary, they oftentimes have sloths come in almost on a daily basis, especially during the time of year when baby sloths are being born. And it is sad that sometimes these babies fall out of the tree and a lot of times they become victim to predators. But every once in a while, you have a human that comes along and finds the sloth first, and that ends up here at a place like Kids Saving the Rainforest, where they can be rehabilitated, taken care of, given lots of love and nourishment, and eventually released back out into the wild. And that eventually will 
will be the story for B-Rad, another incredible success story here at Kids Saving the Rainforest. And in just probably a few months, you will be back out there in the rainforest living the sloth life. Well, how cool is this? Spending just a few moments getting up close with B-Rad, the adorable three-toed sloth. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next location. Oh, look at that yawn. Who's ready for a nap? If you thought B-Rad was adorable, make sure to go back for a double dose of sloth cuteness as I compared the three-toed and two-toed sloths. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on the next location.